Water Flavor Challenge kicked off the second season in a heated audition process. Twelve contestants made it into the Water Flavor Kitchen for a chance to prove that they have the skills to take home one million Kenya shillings. Last week saw the first six of the twelve finalists take on their first challenge. In the end, one had to leave and as Angie learned, all it takes is one small mistake. This is the end of the journey. I've gone through so much to get where I am for the cooking, so I don't know. Now, the next six take on the challenge. Who will stay and who will eventually go home? Hi, my name is Kobe Kihara. I love everything about food. This is why this is going to be such an exciting journey for me. I am Chef Benjamin Yaga. I've worked in some of the greatest fine dining restaurants in Nairobi. Join us when we take you through this journey of culinary master. Another exciting day in the Royco Fuata Flavor Kitchen. Today, six more contestants get to battle it out. Will they make the cut? You have to find out. This is exciting. It surely is. With auditions out of the way, how are these contestants going to fare in their first round? First up, Anissa. Natoka kijiji cha Mazeras, ambacho kiko Kilifi County. Tumelelewa na mama peke yake. She's a nurse by profession. We are three girls, three boys, balanced. Kutoka kitambo, nimejua kwamba niko na, let me say, a talent. Manake, kama ni viungo, kila mtu weza pewa, lakini kupika the end product huwa nitofauti. She's better than me, by far. Anissa makes meals which I don't make. Kufika kwenye show pia ni achievement kwangu. Hata nisipofika pale mwisho, nitashukuru. Niki jitahidi, niki shinda, na niki pata hile milioni moja, nitafungua biashara. Na mkikuja, next time akikuwa number one, yusiji watano, uji ishirini, ya momo. Tukile ngombe. <laughs> Next, we have Rose. I come from a big family. We're like six of us. Plus my mom and dad, that's like eight of us. And sometimes you also have like cousins around and frequent visitors. I can make Ugali for 10 men. Mini wana sayansi. So when she was doing experiments, the same thing na ileta kunyo pishwangu. I think being in this show will actually teach me a lot. It will take me out of my comfort zone. Normally, I'm used to taking time doing my meals. If people are gonna eat at eight, I'll start preparing my meals at five. It's gonna help me to know how to prepare my meals faster. And since I'm quite a sucker for time, I think it will be a plus. What if I win? I haven't even thought about that, but what if I win? Next, we have Tendai. I am 18, fresh from finished school, finished school Austria. Every time I make a dish, I have to make it like, you know, a signature dish that has, does not exist. If you're making something people are gonna have to eat, it has to be to its best. So I do it in a way that it's, like no other. I look at what this show will do for me from two aspects. I think what it will do for me and also people who are watching at home. It's not every day you get to cook in front of a country. So this time your cooking techniques have been critiqued by millions. So you have to really calculate what you do. There is a million shillings to be won at the end of this. Have you, have you cooked a dish? What a million Kenyan shillings? Ntaleta, ntaleta chakula which has, no, no, vitu mob. <laughs> it's not the first time I've, I've, I've killed this, the Swahili language on national TV. Next, Janet. Kisumu <laughs> Koro. I have five siblings. I'm the third born. 
my parents are back at home in Osonga. They think my cooking is wonderful. Most of the time during uh, holidays, especially Christmas, I'm the one who does the cooking. Being in this show will impact positively on me. You find that for the past uh, so many years, over 10 years I've been a teacher, I've been the one examining people. At least I'll be doing another exam that I've not done for a very long time. And so it will help me to realize some of the maybe shortcomings that I have, the things that I need to do. The students might say, Mwalimu alishindwa, but nevertheless I'll have tried my best. My main purpose was for passion and also for exposure. So, so long as I get that, I will be contented. But of course, the money would be a plus. Zekayum. Kitoka uko kwa hiyo competition. Chef ni kujia. Akanambia Zekayum. Usife moyo. Enda tu uendelena juzi wako upishi. Kidogo mda kidogo hivi, naweza sikia marafiki zangu kinambia, hey bana, kumetoko kwa Facebook, kuna kufotia. Kina pana tembea na ambio, nime kufotea, nime kufotea. Natakana 10,000 votes. Na hiyo 10,000 votes ilipatika na in two, three days. Wakenya wote wala nimevotia. Nime shukuru sana kwa vote nyenyu. Na hii season two, na wakishieni nyote. Mwilie ni votia ya kwamba sinta wa let down. Kwa uwezo wake mjizi mungu na kwa bidi ndiyo nayo, nita wa fresheni. Nami pia nita fraye na kamwisho kwa kati kipindi ya final. Kuya, jibu. Finally, we have Michael. Let's do this. Cooking has been part of my life for a very long time. Started cooking when I was about 10. I love it, and that's why I came on the show. Many people just think cooking is a hobby, just something you do on the weekend. For me, I take it very seriously. Being in the competition, I think it's a good way of gauging my ability in the kitchen. I'll get to learn a lot of things from seeing what other people can do. You can't just get your information from one place. You need to look at different sources. And I find I learn better from other people rather than from a book. It's going to cook like that and then it's going to stay hard. The Million for me, it's going to help me produce the first season of Man With A Spoon. That's my blog. I'll actually be able to transition now from just being a blog and I'll finally be able to make a fully fledged show and actually show people how to jazz up Kenyan cuisine. Contestants, the moment is finally here. In front of you, you'll see the Fuata flavor basket. You must use all the ingredients in those baskets. If you look around, you'll see other ingredients in our soko, the fridges, and of course, the fully stocked shelves. Please feel free to use any of those ingredients how you feel. Contestants, you can now open your baskets. What we have in the basket today is Royko, quail, cauliflower, and Chinese cabbage. When I opened the basket, I was a bit shocked initially. I saw the small little thing, and I was like, oh my gosh, there's a small little thing in here. Funny thing, just today, I questioned them, I was like, you know, what did they bring quail? Which one of you guys not cook quail? We were just discussing it, and we didn't think it would come anyway. I don't know nothing about quail. I've never cooked uh, that meat, that bad. It is a small bird. I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say. 
Chinese cabbage and the cauliflower. At least those ones I've had an experience with them before. Me and Michael have been talking quite much, and this is because I think I find him to be, he's, he's very knowledgeable. And the thing with knowledgeable people is you can absorb their knowledge and use it against them. He has read quails, you know? He has kept them. Yes, I have quail at home. <laughs> so you, you, you read quails? Yeah, yeah, I read quails. And how is it? How do you cook it? I, imagine I asked him how you cook it. I had no idea. I've tasted it, I've tried it, so I kind of know what, what works, what doesn't. How does it taste like? Quail is quite gamey. It's not like chicken. So it can handle being, you know, cooked quite a bit. Ah, is that so? You know, I was like, you know, save to storage. And you look at that. I mean, it's, <laughs> it's coming right here. He basically gave me bullets to finish him off with. Ah, man. We'll see. We'll definitely see. I know some people know what, what they're going to do with it, so let's just see what happens. <laughs> Contestants, you will now be given 45 minutes to complete this challenge. When the time stops, the cooking stops. Ready? I'm good and I'm ready. Yeah, I'm ready. Your time is up. Your time starts now. It's, it's, it's war out here, so <laughs> you now grab your knives, literally, and you know, make your way out of this quagmire. Today's Reiko natural ingredient quick cooking tip. Onions are loved for their pronounced flavor and appetizing aroma. They are high in vitamin C and protein, which is why they're one of the 16 specially selected ingredients in Royco. One way I love to use Royco is to baste my meats. You will need some Royco, freshly chopped parsley, freshly chopped tarragon, and finally, some clarified butter. Season your chicken, salt and pepper, Mix your basting ingredients together and brush on top of your chicken. Place your chicken in the oven. Begin at high heat to brown the chicken, then reduce your heat. Take out and allow to rest. So there you have it. Simply divine. Time starts now. When the chef said start, I forgot everything. So I was looking at the tags to remind me of what I need to use. But then I knew what I was going to prepare. And it was going to take a short time. I just needed to chop things up. I'm suspecting a kind of Thai thing going on here. It's uh, more like Japanese, Chinese. Yeah? Yeah. I think I'll just do like quail teriyaki or something. With teriyaki, you never go wrong. You just use like a number of spices and sake and... Oyster sauce, I believe? Yeah. Light soy sauce? Yeah, rice wine vinegar. Rice wine, okay. It's a challenge. It's quite a challenge. We're used to chicken and uh, beef, fish. But quail, they really thought of something quite unique. You have marinated your quail? Yeah. So there's roiko in there, oil? Yeah, there's roiko, there's oil. Black pepper? A bit of black pepper. Uh -huh. And um, mm -hmm. I want to grill it. You're grilling? Yeah. All right, so so. When the business of quail eggs was really uh, picking, and I said, let me know about this bird, uh, those people who have eaten it. So from what I was told, I really need to spice that meat so that it can be. I'm just loving the fact that I know everyone who knows how to make this thing and people who have no idea what they're doing. So today? Yes. I've never made quail before. Uh, I, I've never cooked a quail before, but have you heard of that saying, birds of the same feather flock together? This is exactly the same thing, but I mean the term quite literally. It's a chicken. I'm not sure what your plan is, but uh, trust me, like you'll be amazed um, what I have in, what I have in mind. Well, I've realized you're the only one who's cut it up into pieces. Yeah, you're cutting the chicken. You're the only one who chopped it up, and I'm there like, uh, yeah. Yeah, I'm actually. I mean, it's 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 it's, it's quite a difficult thing to cut in pieces, but it's plausible. I will 
it is literally bone and meat so tightly together you can hardly de-bone it but i went ahead chopped it up in small pieces basically just took out all the flesh from it and i just you know pan fried it to give it a nice you know chewy texture it's like i said and i mixed it with the apples with quail because it's such a delicate protein i didn't let anything else on the plate overpower it i fried off the quail with a bit of royco dusted on it and I did make a stock with the dried mushrooms and the quail carcass and the wings, just to complement the quail. Quail? What do you think about quail? There's, there's several ways you can make it. Um, it would be nice to see how they're gonna work with it. Uh, being a small piece, I would probably go and make a start of some sort. Hmm, something nice and easy. I take you to me, Nanyaki. They play like Chinese. We look like your Chinese cabbage. Remember contestants, you're going to be judged on creativity. All four ingredients of the secret kikapu must feature in your food. When you pan fry the cauliflower, it is and that is why I have to boil it, add a bit of black pepper. With the cabbage, I'm definitely going to do a bubble and squeak, but with the cauliflower, definitely a cream application. Tendai does know what he's doing, which is the most important thing. He's not just throwing things in a pan, he knows what to do, when to do it. So he's my biggest threat right now. <laughs> We're basically eyeing and eyeing each other because you know, basically everything we talked about, he knew, I knew everything he knows to do with this dish. There, there's no carbohydrates in this, so, so that's something we're thinking about, you know, what am I gonna do for carbohydrates? I have to chukua the chips, kusavnai, ama rice. Since I'm going Japanese, I'll do stir fry rice noodles. I didn't want to go go all traditional and use any other carbs like you know pasta, rice, you know, etc. So what are you gonna make? Um, I would like to if I told you what I'm going to make, I'd be lying because it had, there is no name for it. I think I'll call it uh, Slices of Tomorrow, which is basically there's a hole right through the potato. After it being thoroughly cleaned, you do not peel it because there's some texture you want. So you have a hole in the center and you cut it into tiny little pieces so it's like crisps. I like the excitement in this kitchen. I see some good dishes coming out. So, you know, hustle up, hustle up. Ah, I'm so disappointed in Michael. When I go past there, I'm so, oh man, I think he made ugali. I made a pasty with ugali and some parmesan and, but and margarine. Making a pastry in the time we had, it would have taken way too much time and it wouldn't have uh, achieved the same effect. So I just thought ugali would be the best option. That's the same thing he did during the additions. And I'm like, you know what, anyway, let's say it looks like, it looks so traditional, it looks, it, it looks normal, let me say. Michael has a familiar route and done something we have seen him make already. Will this be enough? Kayum also seems to be taking the same road with a masala dish, or is it? Over at Anissa, she is making some vegetable rice and has decided to take the spicy route with her quail. Janet has already stuffed and grilled her quail. As for Tendai, well, only he seems to know what will end up on his plate. Uh, there are definitely some people I see who have lots of potential, and there are some I don't really know what's going to happen next. It's okay. I'm frying pan. I'm going to go to the chicken. I'm going to go to the That is like the worst thing that can ever happen. Yeah, but he was rushing it a bit, so I can't, I'm not really going to like give him, you know, all that sympathy. But I empathize. Contestants, please be careful. You know, uh, you're working with fire, you're working with hot oil, knives. Masala, niliwacha. 
nikatendeleza nyingine tena chap chap kaiwai this is the final leg final leg people Five minutes left Five minutes left if there's anything that needs to cook this is the moment you need to either start rethinking your strategy because you only have five minutes left to go. Only five minutes left. So I'm at the sink and I'm talking to Kayum. Kayum, how's it going? How's everything going? And I'm just there like, really have a conversation with me. Then, uh, we, he finishes and boom. Finish. Finish. Oh, so so you had you have a voice now that you're done, but you know a couple of seconds ago you were quiet. Njamaliza, nikubaya, away mbaya. Eh, attack, you need to attack, attack, attack. Nani mo attack? You need to attack nyote. Baka ni kwa shoot. Da da da. You're done. Clear down. No no viola babaika. Take your time, man. Take your time. Confusion, the chaos, you know, the, the disorder. Lakini nadhani pia alikuwa yapamotisha wengine kwamba eh kuna wengine washamaliza kwa hivyo wewe kama bado wapika jitahidi. Pia ni vizuri. Ah. Wako na matatizo kidogo kwa time. Timing. Hawana time. Sio na bado time imeisha lakini bado jamaliza hata alikuwa hajapangusa sehemu yao. Hawajaeka clean. 30 seconds. 30 seconds left now. 30 seconds left. That means that things should be on the plate now. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Stop. Stand back. Everyone, back. Janet. You move, you, you move a distance, you step aside, you're looking at like, wow, I made that. So I look at it like a master, it's like an artwork. I'm not worried, per se. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is going to be like a walkover. You never undermine your opponent. Even, even the one who you think is, is the ant. He could be an army, you never know. What would Chef Ben have made using this week's secret ingredients? For the quail challenge, I wish to make a pan seared quail with three tomato barbecue sauce, Chinese cabbage ball, and cauliflower puree. So I'm going to start by deboning my quail. This is a delicate technique. It's quite a small piece. Next, I'll make my barbecue sauce. I'll need some three tomatoes, which I'll blend, and then I'll strain to get rid of all the seeds. So there we have it, a nice, smooth puree. I'll need to chop my chilies, my pan, it's nice and warm, and I'll start with the red wine, brown sugar, barbecue sauce, chilies, tree tomato. Give that a good stir. Our favorite ingredient, Royco. Some thyme, finely chopped. That's ready to go. Just gonna cut my beef bacon into pieces, oil into the pan. It's about a quarter of an onion, a clove of a garlic, the Chinese cabbage, the Royco, about half a tablespoon. Just set that aside. I want to shock these for about five minutes so they can get nice and soft. My cauliflower. I'm going to boil these until they are proper soft. I want some cream in here and some blue band. A little salt so I have a nice, thick consistency there. Next up, I wish to do my cabbage balls. Give it a good twist, set it aside. Nice just to finish the quail. So salt, we start on the skin side first. The quail goes right in. So I'm quite happy with that. Now I'm ready to plate. So there you go. My take on the quail with Chinese cabbage and cauliflower puree. Fine, you lost your voice, hon. Yeah, I had a party. My graduation party. I did. But you made a good meal anyway, right? I believe. Okay. Yeah. Right. Um, I did Chinese stuff, right? Um, rice uh, sticks 
and uh, teriyaki quail. I marinated it with royco, coriander powder, and a little bit of, of garlic powder, and soy sauce. How did you make these? I prepared the eggs, and then I set them aside. Then I, I fried the Chinese cabbage, and then I added my rice, uh, rice wine. It's like a rose version of pad thai. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Tastes very, very good. Thank you. All the best to you. Thank you. Right. That was just like a poker face. And you wouldn't tell whether he liked it or he didn't. So, whichever side it falls, I'm whispering because my voice, the husky one actually hurts my vocals. Let's see what you have. For the quail, I stuffed it with the vegetables, that is green pepper. Uh, chili and uh, carrots, oh. and then I marinated it using royco, curry powder, black pepper, and some oil. And then I grilled it. It is a little bird to stuff, but you managed. So, what's in the sauce again? Onions, garlic, and then I put in some royco, tomato paste, tomatoes. In your additions, you had made rice. Yeah. Okay. And you made rice again. Yeah. Is it going to be a trend? <laughs> no, it's not going to be a trend. I'm not sure if I can get the gist of the quail, but I like the sauce. <clears throat> okay. Well, um, all the best to you. Thank you. Thank you. So are you making some sembe? Of course, there's nothing more Kenyan than ugali, and it just had to feature in my dish in one way or another. What I have for you today, I decided to make a petivier. A what? A petivier. It's basically a pasty. Ah. I took the quail off the bone, made a stock with it, and I did use the drums and the breasts, and I did put them in. And in the stock, I actually used some porcini mushrooms as well. And here we have a bit of cauliflower puree. I actually charred the cauliflower, added a bit of sesame oil, coconut milk, actual milk, and some chives just to give it some color and some depth. Uh, Michael had made ugali, right? And lo and behold, there's actually something inside the ugali. I gave him props for that. In your audition, you said you were tired of eating boring food. Exactly. You don't think the repetition makes it a bit boring? Um, to some extent, maybe. But I just wanted to take a risk. It was a big risk. Whether it's wise or not, we'll probably know later on. But for now, I feel I did make a good decision to do what I did. You believe in yourself that much? Yes, I do. Okay. Well, you seem to know a lot about cooking, which means we should see more. Exactly. This is just a starting point. Good luck. And all the best. Okay, thank you. Yes, sir. Okay, kiwanza kwanza, kiwanza na kui fry aluru. Kisha nikachukua Chinese cabbage, na cauliflower, kaboy. Nikaweka kitungusumu, nikaweka tomato paste, nikaweka jinomoto, soya sauce. Ulipata ajali kidogo? Hii nguo ndo lilivuta ile frying pan. Mm. Ile mkono yake shia sana nikapata ajali. Ilikuwa karibu lakini ukanisaidia. Ulikifraya chakula chako? Sana. Hi, Tendai. Hi, Kobe. How are you? I'm great. Tell right. us what you got. Okay, so, what that means. <laughs> um, over here we have Chinese cabbage that's been wrapped around the quail and had green apple as well in mayonnaise. And it's a small little cube ball over there. And on the other side, we have something I call a sliced potato, which basically is crisps, but still intact. Tomato sauce to go with the chips, and of course, the uh, cauliflower, which is right there under the potato. Okay. What's the stuffing? The stuffing is actually the uh, Chinese cabbage. So where's the reiko? The reiko is uh, inside the tomato, the tomato paste, which I have at the bottom. It's also inside the cauliflower as well. Uh, that's the reiko powder as well. Let me try your... What did you call it? Sliced potato. I think I'll call it uh, slices of tomorrow. Okay, yeah. there we go. I'm curious, did you taste the tomatoes? No, I don't like to taste tomatoes. 
the wee bit acidic. Okay. Um, could have done with a little sugar to just suppress that acidity. Instead of I'll be honest with you, I'm just a bit, I don't know how to feel. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I actually do not know how to feel. There's some things in there that work. The apple, yeah. the quail, I'm not sure about the Chinese cabbage around it. Mm -hmm. I actually like your tomatoes. All right. They put some tang to it. Total thing. Good luck. Thank you. Okay. All right. Anissa. Nam. Tafadali. Sanisa kuna kitu kimoja kina shinda kikini sumbua. Vipi hivi matunda? <laughs> matunda ni upande mwingine na chakula nilichoambiwa nipike nili concentrate ya believe. But uh, it has nothing to do with the secret ingredients. Na unaelewa? As in I mean I I love fruit but an orange will taste like an orange in Nairobi and in Mombasa. <laughs> See? Mm -hmm. So I'm sorry I'm not going to try that. Yeah. So can we at least talk about this? Nili fikiria zaidi. Nikaona maybe niweke na hiyo fruit itakuwa itaniadia points or something lakini it was not necessary. So tuleze zaidi. Nili chemsha cauliflower na Chinese cabbage na nika add black pepper. Uh, hapa kwenye mchele nilitumia pilipili pili, pili boga la manjano na lekundu na upande huu ni kwel na nilimarinate kwanza na ndimu chuzi ni uwe mzi ndo ita mtuzi ndo huu mtuzi 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 haya sawa chumvi chumvi nilieka kwa mbali sana mbali wa Mombasa hivi si mbali eh yeah. mm -hmm. mtu ajiongeze mwenyewe kwenye sahani atumu uitaje mtuzi mtuzi aha no chachu ndimu 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 chachu ni it's a bit sour sour it is mm -hmm. yeah that's mm -hmm. what i thought cauliflower is nicely cooked mm -hmm. chumvi mm -hmm. mungeza kidogo sawa anyway i hope it's enough matunda Contestants, please step out of the kitchen while we deliberate. I'm starting to wonder whether there was just a case of luck with these people's uh, auditions. Because I'm seeing a lot of repetition. Right. Which is something that I'm starting to get a little disappointed about. Comfort zones. Exactly. Lots of comfort zones. Mm -hmm. One person who's definitely not comfortable is Tendai. We have to give it up to him. I think he surgically opened his potato. Well, <laughs> yes. Tendai almost seems like he's trying everything and hopefully he's going to impress with something. <laughs> right. You know, he just throws all the arrows out hoping one will hit. Exactly. Okay. I like the fact that he's adventurous, but he needs to now be able to start putting all these together. Because if he doesn't, it's not he's not gonna go very far. Chef, I mean you 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 <laughs> what? You actually keep these things. So I mean how do you think you did? I just didn't want the bones in, so I just tried to debone and get as much of the flesh off. Yeah, exactly. It's so fiddly. Yeah. You have to like, you know, really be careful because I didn't want to chop off my fingers. I need my yeah. fingers. Yeah, I'll keep that as well. Yeah. Michael has uh, seems to have a good knowledge in, in terms of cooking. Yeah. And because of that, I really expect to see a lot more. Do you feel that he's just not reaching his full potential? I do believe so. Is he talking up a big game and not showing you what he's got? I hope not. I hope not too, because I actually see quite a lot in my goal. Yeah. <laughs> but you know, coast-wise, and, and there is a huge group that takes bananas and fruit with some of their food. Is, isn't that okay? There were four secret ingredients, and those are the ones that they were supposed to concentrate on. I don't see where oranges and bananas come into, <laughs> especially if you don't really do anything with yeah. them. I mean, just cutting them and putting them on a plate, no. Rose, I'm very, very impressed by the way she did the noodles. The egg wasn't overdone and it wasn't watery. I really enjoyed it. And also the teriyaki sauce. All those bottles she had on, on her yeah. table. There was soy sauce, there was oyster sauce, there was fish sauce, there was rice wine vinegar. So I thought, ooh, you know, Lots there, yeah. yeah? But mm. she seemed to have managed and balanced it off well. Janet, um, stuffed quail, I thought was 
awesome. To be honest, I kind of feel like Janet uh, took the easy way out in this sense. She really didn't do anything to that quail apart from stuff a few vegetables into it. Probably I was doing something I'm comfortable with. So I'm hoping if I make it to the next level, I'll try and experiment more. I hope that Kayum is not expecting to ride this through because of the fact that the Kenyans really loved him. When he said that he was going to make a Chinese style, you know, fried rice and everything, I was looking so forward to it. But it ended up almost just being kind of like regular oily rice. I'm a Chinese Chinese dish. I'm a Chinese dish I cream da. When we're at the sink, I'm cleaning. I'm talking the hell out to him. I'm like, hey, how's it going? And he's dead silent trying to avoid me. But when he's done, Hey, yes, 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 yes. <laughs> to be honest, I think he's being a bit overconfident. Yeah. He might need to, you know, dial it down a notch and kind of concentrate more on the food now. I'd hate to have to uh, eliminate him in this first stage, considering how much faith people have in him. Okay, we have to decide. One of them has to go. True. Before we get into it, congratulations to all of you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Naturally, there is going to be one person that's going home today. I would like Janet and Kayum to step forward. I to I to I to I to Janet, mm -hmm. you are a culinary teacher. If you do make it, I want to see more. Much, much more. Kayum, sir. This is a competition, not a race. It's not who finishes first, it's who finishes best. Is this understood? Yes. You're both safe. Push the envelope a little bit more. No more rice, Kali. Please step out of me for the favor, kitchen. Kayum and Janet are safe from elimination but have to prove themselves in the next challenge. He's definitely right. I was operating on a comfort zone. The camera is on. On you. I would like Jendai, Rose and Michael to step forward. There's a twist in Forta Flavor Season 2. Two of you are going to be safe from the next challenge and you will not have to compete until the challenge after that. Michael. Yes, Chef. I don't see why you have to redeem yourself from a challenge which you clearly won. Tendai, you're very adventurous and I don't know whether this is going to work in your favor or against you. There's too much going on in your head and you need to be able to bring it together. Rose. Yes, Chef. I thought that your dish was more Thai. What you said was it was Japanese. So I don't know whether you know what you're doing or whether you're just guessing. Rose, because you made quail for the first time, I think you did a great job. You are safe from elimination in the next round. Thank you. Rose is the first one to get immunity and jump one challenge. I was taught by my mom to take life easy. Time literally stopped for a second. You, you, you literally hear your heart beat. You know, you hear yet. Yeah. Anissa, please step forward. Michael. Yes, sir. One more dish, Fugali. That's how close you're going to be to getting an elimination. But you're the wild card winner for this week. That means, Michael, that you are free and safe from elimination next week. Bring it. I will. Okay. I will. Whew. That was way too close for comfort. Anissa, Tendai. One thing that can certainly be said about the both of you is that you're very passionate. But sometimes what ends up on the plate does not translate. Mm 
Dad. You're the one who's going to stay. Lisa, I'm sorry, but it is the end of the journey for you. You just didn't make it to the next round. I want to thank you for trying and to encourage you to keep cooking. It's not the end because I'm so passionate about cooking and uh, something that's in you, you can't change. I, I know to the extent of what I should do next time. You know, I know how crazy and how not insane I should I should go when I'm when I'm when I'm butchering stuff in the kitchen. My war chest, as I told you, is re-equipped and I definitely have something, a gambit, to use next time. I think I have to read wide. Yeah, just to know my spices so that I know how to strike a balance. Yeah, I'm shifting, yeah. I'm taking now the maximum one. Yeah. <laughs> There's a attack into our chain of geniuses. I mean, she's a two midfield and a defense. When I'm in the attack, I'm speed sana. But I can be sharp. Here's some food for thought. One in four people don't get the necessary nutrition for a healthy life. It's why Royco, NTV, and World Food Program have come together to share one million nutritious meals with school children under the Share a Meal campaign. With your help, we can go even further. Donate and help us share one million meals with school children in Kenya on October 16th, World Food Day.